Hey guys, I have an empties video for you. Um, got a lot of things here. I'm trying to get rid of stuff. So I think I did pretty well. I'll start off with like the oldest thing that's in here. And you can tell when I hold it up to here, I'm going to hold it at a distance. Because it's been in my shower forever. And I don't know why it took so long to use it, but it is the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Color Protecting Shampoo. It's got like water stains all over it because it's been sitting in my shower for so long. And it's supposed to hold up your color <coughs> and things like that. And I think it does. It's just that I, I, I'm assuming that the scent just wasn't my favorite. That's probably what took me so long to use it is because the scent was kind of like meh. It was okay. Um, and I have so many shampoos and conditioners. I want to just, I rarely use the same one again and again and again. I usually switch them up all the time. Next is from Poise. I've used another one of these up. Forget the dog in the background. Family's home, so he's excited. So, um, this is a feminine wash. I would highly recommend you pick up one, whether it be this one or another one. This one's pretty good. I think it does its job and I think it's a necessary part of hygiene. Next is this um, Herbal Essences Unbreakable Seduction. This is the shampoo. I use this for my daughter. I had the shampoo and the conditioner and it worked really well for her. The scent was amazing and it lingered for days on her. Um, I don't have to wash her hair all the time so um, this is really great. And her hair smells good for several days when using this. Next is from um, Hask. This is the Argan Oil. Um, version is the strengthen and restores. This is the repairing um, shampoo. This is the one, the blue tops are the ones that I, ugh, the scent is not that good, but it works really, really well for your hair. It's got a lemon-like scent, which I don't really care for, but it, again, it works really well. And whenever I use this, my hair looks really good. So I would consider getting it again, but they have the silver top one, which is really nice. It smells good and it does wonders for your hair as well. So I probably would choose the silver version versus that one. Um, this is Refresh Skin Therapy. Um, this is a pre-peel cleanser. Um, and then it had, it came with, um, I got this for a review. It came with this and it came with the peel. And I don't use the peel all the time, obviously, because it's a peel. Um, but I did use this all the time. So I'm wait, I'm out of this, but I have a ton of the peel left. Um, this cleans really, really well. Um, I just have a clean face and I, I'm happy with it. Um, but I have so many cleansers so I probably won't repurchase this at all. But it was really good. I can't, I can't complain about it. Oh, but the only thing is, is that the scent. The scent was like a kind of, like the natural scent. It's kind of like meh. But it worked really good. This one, Not Soap Radio. This, it says the stuff that Cupid dips his arrows in because sometimes fate needs an assist. Whatever. I got this in a birch box. Um, it's a bath and shower gel and it smells like candy. Um, it's okay. It's a, it, it kind of like the scent for my daughter or something like that. Not so much for an adult. Although this is supposed to help you like um, your pheromones and all that stuff. But I used it. It was just okay. Next is this Dr. Jart Waterful Hydrogel Mask. Um, this is one of those masks that you put um, you know, on your face and it had two pieces. However, I didn't use the bottom piece that went around the mouth um, just because I, I didn't and then it dried out and I forgot to use it. You can see that it's still here. Um, but I put it on one night and I fell asleep with it on. So in the middle of the night when my other half came to bed, he was like, what is that? And I was like, oh, sorry peel it off. But it worked really good and it felt really nice. Um, I got this in a box somewhere. One of my beauty subscription boxes I'm assuming. I'm not sure. But it was really good. I liked it. I don't know if I'll repurchase it. I have tons and tons of masks that I have to get through and I haven't used them so. Um, oh this one. This was terrible. Um, I got this for review. It's a a liner. I think I've used it a couple of times. It says store with the tip down. This is a felt tip liner and let me tell you this was like a really, of course it's going to prove me wrong now, but the heck was that? Did you see that? It was like a ghost. So okay, so it looks okay now, but
but I promise after a while when you're using it I don't know what happened it wasn't doing this when I used it on my eyes um, there it goes it was like when you want to use the tip to get a fine line you can't get a fine line you have to do this number I think it's doing this because it's the thick part at the um, base down here has a lot of um, pigment but the tip when you you need the tip to do the line you can't really get a nice line with the tip because the tip is completely dry see but the base of it okay that'll work but who who does that I mean I can't put eyeliner on with using the base of the liner right there I have to use the tip I mean really uh, I'm getting rid of it <clears throat> next is uh, from Physicians Formula I've talked about this a million times this is a great liner this is also a felt tip liner um, this gives the most fine line um, that you could ever want um, and it's just had its time the color has faded it's not very bold and bright anymore but um, you could if you wanted to you can get a darker line if you wanted but it just takes a little bit of work it's uh, it's kind of dried out I've had it for like a year it's, it's time but again it's really good I mean you can see the nice crisp fine line that you can get with this liner versus the other one um, this is just I mean a phenomenal liner uh, I would highly recommend it and once you put it on it's not budging it's not going anywhere Um, next is from CVS. This is just a, what do you call it, nail polish remover. I used the last bit up this morning to take my nail polish off that was chipping all over the place. It worked really well. I got it on clearance for like 12 cents. I got out like 10 bottles of them. Oh, this one. This is a great liner too. This is from L'Oreal. This is the Carbon Black Liner Intense. Um, I thought that I had put this in the empties and then maybe I brought it back because it had like stuff in it I don't know maybe I'm wrong but um, yeah I've been using it again this you guys you want to get a good liner too I'm all up about the eyeliners as you can tell this is a phenomenal one as well this one's gonna give you the darkest darkest line um, you you kind of shake it up before you use it and then when you open it up it's got a the tip is not a super fine tip it is a bigger tip so um, you're gonna get a little bit thicker of a line you can't get a very fine fine I mean I guess you could if you really tried um, but it's this one is a little bit harder to apply um, however it gives such a dark bold black color and it looks really nice this is a beautiful liner it's just had its time also I think I've had this for over a year and it has been going on it's just now starting to skip so yeah it's it's had its time but it is a phenomenal liner I used it today actually before I decided to get rid of it I had to work so hard to get my line today and I was like okay enough is enough that's it it's done but this is a fantastic liner I'm definitely gonna repurchase this and as for the physicians formula I've already repurchased it several times over um, last thing in here is from Sarah Phil. I got this in Expo TV. It was some kind of thing from Expo TV. And um, this was really great. Um, I I've been using it and I don't know, can you see all the little baby hairs that I have? My hair has always been very thin. Um, so I don't have a lot of hair. I mean, I have a lot of long hair, but you see how it's kind of growing out here? I've been using it for months and um, I'm on another bottle. I think I'm on my third bottle right now. Um, I think it's been really great. Um, mind you, I think I said this in another video. I was doing a review on my favorites or something like that. And um, they have this, it says for women on it, but the one for men is exactly the same as women. And it is just a different color than this. There's no difference. I can tell you that because when I did the review, they sent me the male version. And in the version, it says, even though it says for men, don't worry, it's the same thing. So those are my empties. I hope you guys got some good reviews. I'm messing with this little hair that won't stay put. Um, I hope you enjoyed that and that the information was helpful. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you again in another video.